Hello everybody, it's Adam here coming back to you from Houdini version 14. Today we're going to check out the uh, mocap biped. Now we're going to use biped 1 here, so we'll control click, spacebar around here, press play, and we've got an instant person walking. We'll click the real time uh, flag over here. And it comes with, you know, a few basic little idle, standing, zombie, um, different mocaps that you can use. But there are a lot more out there, and this tutorial is going to show you how to install one. So the first thing we want to do here is this is a digital asset, so we're going to right click and allow editing of contents. That will turn the name red, so you know that's a warning. We'll go, um, at this point, we're going to add one parameter to the interface, and that's an operator path. We'll drag that up, drop it under controls. Maybe I did something wrong. Let's try that again. Drag this up under controls, let go. Yeah, there it is. So now we're going to call this chop, and its label is going to be chop path, because that's what we're going to type there. Apply, accept. So now we have a field where we can type a path to the chop. So let's go inside and take a look. There's the chop. That's where we want to point this to. So we'll go back up and we'll say chop slash out. Now you might wonder, well, where did this out come from? If we go inside and look, it's right here. There's all the information that moves the bones that deform the mesh. So let's go ahead and uh, go up one level. And we're going to select all this stuff here at the top and kind of just move it up a bit. And this will give us some room to draw a selection box around everything else. And then we'll zoom back in, click on the visibility tag, and now we can see the bones in the viewport. And at this point, um, we'll turn off the geometry, so we're just looking at bones. And basically we see the walk cycle. So how do we get our mocap into Houdini. Now, if you're like me, you probably figure, well, file, import, BVH, you know, Poser has it there, why don't it Houdini? But it, it just doesn't. So it's a very long-winded process, and what I'm going to do is show you uh, this tutorial here. This tutorial explains how to convert a BVH into a CMD and a companion bclip file that you can then import into Houdini. It creates an H script. So we're going to locate that H script, but first we need a text port screen. This is kind of like a terminal, so we're going to type the keyword source, and then I'm going to see, I think I have one up here. There it is. There's my the path to mine. And uh, let's just try that again. Source, paste. So it's the CMU, which is the Carnegie Mellon University BVH collection. And I followed uh, the tutorial and created all these converted items. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And I think we did that at the wrong level. Maybe not. No, here we go. We've got our import. It came in. We'll switch back to scene view. And you can see there it is in the view. It's a giant, flat bone system that I put, I'm not sure if it moves or not. It doesn't move yet. So the reason it doesn't move is because all the bones are pointing to a non-existent um, B clip. So we have to correct that. But first I'm just going to type BVH, rename this to something shorter and we'll go inside. Now here's the mocap for this skeleton. If we look at it, these names actually match one-to-one -to, -one to what we have in biped uh, one, so that's good news there. 
we go into mocap, we'll notice well, we've got two things to do. First, we're going to find the B clip, which, uh, let's see, where did I put that? Documents. Um, do we have a mocap file? Folder, we do. Yes, here it is, converted. And we're referencing, you can see I have a lot of them converted. Um, we're just going to grab A2, accept. Now, our bones disappear because they jumped to the location where the B clip defines the start point. So I'm going to press space G, and we can see, sure enough, I've got my mocap in there. It's huge. Now, the second thing we need to do is we're going to rename this to out, just like the other mocap uh, in the other asset. So at this point, I'm going to select this mocap here. Whoops go back and I'm just going to do command C copy that go into this one and somewhere up here we will paste and now we've got both mocaps in our biped one let's pop back out I'm going to scale this down to 0 0.07 this gets us uh, closer in size to the original one that we imported through this tool up here. And let's kind of look at them this way. As you can see at this point, the bone systems are almost the same. They might be exactly the same. It looks like I might have an extra finger here, but it's hard to say. So let's go ahead and get this stuff cross mapped. And we're going to do that through expressions. If we look in here, say, at hips, lower back, excuse me, and uh, we take a look at one of these, we can see that it references uh, the name of the chop, it references, references the current node of itself, and it also references hard-coded this channel Rx. So we want to parameterize this entire path. And we can do this here with some global swapping. We're going to use dollar sign OS colon dollar dollar sign CH. That will give us the name of the node and the name of the channel. So this is the equivalent of hips to lower back colon Rx. Now for this side over here, we're going to use ch sop quote dot dot slash chop plus. And that's our this is our magic line right here. This fetches the name the path to that chop that we typed one level up, the new parameter that we added to the interface. So uh, with this selected, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it into this one here and here. So we can use the same expression no matter what the channel, which is really nice. And now if I right click copy this, we can also, I'm going to zoom out here so I can select all of these. They all have rotates, which I am just going to delete. And then I'm going to right click copy this expression to the selected fields. And that places the same exact information in all of these. Now let's see what we get. This one's still walking off of chop. Why is that? Because if we go up one level, we're still pointing at chop. Whoops. I'm in the wrong one. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Instead of chop, we need to point it to mocap, which is what we copied in there. Notice it jumped immediately to T-pose, and now it's walking the same exact walk. So let's go in here and look at what else we need to do. And we've taken care of everything below hips, so let's look up above here. We do have a translate, and it has an in-place parameter as well, so we got to we can still use this though. We can use our global command, but we just have to put it on the first part. So we'll paste that in there and uh, click away. Now the Y seems to have some extra 
information. So we'll just do the front part again. The Z is in the same place as the X. And we'll go up, say, rig scale here. This one is just referencing the node above. And then rig offset, um, we can do the same trick here. We can delete the channel, paste copy expression, uh, delete the channels, paste copied. Yeah, where are they? We used paste copy selected. Let's just try this other one, paste copied expressions. That seems to work. And now when we walk, let's see if it see if we did everything right. We can turn off in place. It's going to jump right to that one. And we play, you can see it's not walking in place because that's off. We can make it walk in place. I don't know if speed works or not. Probably not, because nothing we didn't map anything, right? But you can at least now drop this guy back in. We'll turn on his geometry here. Drop him back into your sim. Now obviously this hand dealio isn't right, but that's just chop work. You'd have to go in and fix the chop up, but um, this is my attempt to swap in a mocap with an existing biped one. And with that, I'm out.